Hi everyone, welcome back. We have another Hobonichi box here. Um, I actually got the box from my friend Shauna who put in an order and I got two things um, in that order. And um, uh, you'll see, let me, let me just show you what's going on. I'll dive straight in. So first up, I'll just pull this out without revealing too much. <laughs> um, I got two uh, of the, just the plain A5 notebooks. So actually my friend ordered these and she decided that um, while the shipping was happening, she decided that this really wasn't for her, uh, this system. So she had these two spare notebooks and I uh, I just really like the notebooks. So I said I'll take them off her hand. So I bought those from her. Anyway, what I was in the market for this time, because I haven't tried them before and I hear so many good things, is the drawer pouches. So I picked up two. Here's one of them. This is um, the Anne pouch and it is one of the Liberty fabrics and it's called the Peacocks of Grantham. Uh, so if you can see in this beautiful fabric is some the Peacocks with their big tails ready and waiting there. So um, what is a drawer pouch? Well it's just a pouch to put things in. You know I think I've said before I've got a thousand pouches and if I try to buy another pouch stop me. Um, nobody stopped me. So <laughs> here it is. Uh, right so um, it's beautiful. Like I said it's Liberty Fabrics which is one of the classic fabrics I think from the UK and it has gold hardware on here. I actually didn't know that it had this kind of keychain type thing, so I, I can add a charm to there. You know, I'm always complaining that I haven't got anywhere to put my charms. And it does have this beautiful gold tassel as well, as you can see. I think it's just lovely. I am and out over which one to buy, and I only bought the lace one, and, you know, it's I, I still could. But, um... I don't know, there's just something about this one that spoke to me. I just thought it was really quite pretty. And if you don't look at the peacocks, you can just see that it's kind of a cool abstract circular pattern, right? So I was happy with that. It has a pouch here in the back that you can pop things in. And I actually figured out yesterday that a phone fits in there quite nicely. That's the iPhone 13 Pro Max to give you an idea of how big that pocket is. Okay, let's open it up and have a look inside. So, the lining in this one, I'll take out the packaging, it has the silicon desiccant in there. The lining in this one is just a lovely pale cream colour. It has a zip pocket here, so you can use this as a wallet if you wanted to. If you've seen my um, recent handbag purchase, you'll know that I won't be using this as a wallet, most likely, because I have, I'm using that handbag as a wallet. Um, it comes with this little guide which is all in Japanese but it sort of tells you what you can store in there like all sorts of things phones credit cards electronic like cables cards uh, tablets pens whatever you want um, so yes it has the zippered pocket that you can put whatever you like in it does have all of these card slots in here as well so if you did need to store card slots or you could as cards if you needed to store cards sorry but you could also put like ephemera and stickers and things in there right this can be a pouch that you put stickers or um, whatever you're working on you know if you needed a something to take around with you um, also I'll just take my weeks out of here because this is actually been designed to fit a weeks in to it so my weeks can go in there and my phone can go in there and then I have this little clutchy thing that I can take with me. So if I wanted to, you know, it gives me a bit more room. And I, I think probably, like there's a fair bit of room there, probably my second phone would fit in there. Um, I, I think it probably would. It might be a bit chunky, but I think it would. So, yeah, it's designed to fit a week's in, which is nice. And that week's goes very nicely with this. Like it goes with everything that week's. It's just beautiful. Um, right, so a pocket here and a pocket here, like the two outsides that then have the card slots. It's like symmetrical there. But then we have this divider here so you can put different things. Like I said, my weeks could go in one of those and the phone could go in the other. And then, um, oh, the weeks fits best in the outside sections. Does it go in here? Oh, yes, it does fit in there as well. Okay, cool. And then we've got the zippered pocket and this pocket here where I've got my weeks currently. 
So I just think they're pretty cute. Um, my friend's been trying to convince me for ages to try one out and I thought, why not? Um, oh, there's pockets here too, bigger pockets here. So, you know, it's really quite full of storage ideas. It's really good. So stay tuned to see what I'm going to use this for. I will set it up for you and show you. Okay, so I did buy a second one while I was there. And I've, I've already looked at this. Um, we had a look yesterday. It's, it's just gorgeous. Um, <laughs> it's the bigger version, as you can see. And it's got these cats on it, which I knew we had cats with little whiskers. But what I didn't know was that the whiskers are actually little ribbons that, you know, ribbons of fabric that stick up and be, you know, add some texture. It's really quite lovely. It feels like quite a soft denim. I don't know if it is, but it's definitely like a cotton kind of fabric, I think. It's um, like a sturdy fabric. This is a much softer fabric, but this feels like um, like a durable kind of fabric. I don't know. It feels very nice. It does feel soft as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous little cats with little pink and grey whiskers and blue and grey whiskers. Just so cute. Uh, pocket in the back as well, but inside is pink. <laughs> it's such a pretty pink. So this one looks a bit different to the other one. It has a mesh pocket on this side. And it has the big zip in the center, but no other divider. So big sections here. Um, the A5, the A5 fits in here, so that's quite nice. I'm not sure if an actual planner would fit. Like that's pretty big, right? I don't think it'll fit. Let's see. Um, it does, but it might not do up with those pen loops. Okay, it does. So if you really wanted to store your planner in there, nothing else will fit with it. Um, but if you just had the cousin on its own, like outside of the of the cover, um, then that would be good to fit in here as well. So if you didn't want to use a cover, then you could potentially put your cousin in here. All right, mesh pocket here, two pockets there with the zippered pocket in the center. And then this side here is chock full of card slots, although they're vertical card slots and quite roomy. Um, yeah, quite roomy. And there's nine. One, two, three. Yeah, there's nine there. And then uh, we've given you another one of these little guys, which tells you the types of stuff you can, the types of things you can put in there. And in this case, they've put like a book because it's bigger than the other one. So, um, behind the card slots, there is a pocket, and then there is a divided pocket in the back as well. So I'm thinking for this, um, potentially an iPad could fit. Let's find out. Okay, so here's my iPad 12. Um, it's not going to fit as is. But I wonder if we take it out of the keyboard case. Alright, it does fit, but it's very tight on the edge, so maybe the 12, maybe, I mean a mini would be ideal, I need to charge that actually, a mini would be ideal if you did want to store an iPad in here, um, yeah, but I'm thinking it's good, it'd be good for, um, either of these would be good for storing um, your cables and things in if, you, if you're taking them away, you know, chargers for AirPods and all that kind of stuff, as well as your, you know, your stationary items. Um, you could even use it for, you know, tablets or, you know, emergency supplies you want to carry with you, band-aid, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, you know, I often have, I do have a pouch with that kind of stuff in it. So, yeah, lots of um, ideas for what we can use these for. So, I'm super keen to set them up and use them. I have, you know, I live in a small apartment, so storage is always an issue. And if I can store things flat like this and stand, then stand it up in a bookcase, that makes my life so much easier. And that's kind of what I've done with a few things, but I don't have anything this flat. So I think this is good to be able to put, um, to put papers and things like that in 
to store on a shelf but then I might empty it to take it with me somewhere if I wanted to put something specific for travel in there you know I don't know I just wanted to try the concept of the drawer pouch out and I was very much drawn to this fabric I'm a dog person but uh, this really spoke to me I just think it's the cutest thing ever it's just adorable and in the flesh I was <laughs> I was very surprised um, at how nice this fabric I really like this fabric it's very I don't know it's so touchable and then with those little whiskers as well super super cute and then this one is the smoother version it's it's very smooth it's just uh, understated and very pretty I kind of feel like I could take it um, with like I said the weeks like as a little wallet almost you know I feel like you could take things like your weeks and your phone and like a card holder or something even though there's card slots in there um, and even your keys would fit in here as well so it could become like a little clutch you take with you um, you could attach something here that's larger to hook your wrist through to make it a wristlet there's lots of things you could do with it I think this one is quite portable and then I think this one would be more for travel um, or storage at home even I just think they're very nice um, I didn't open the notebook uh, because I'm sure you've seen it before especially if you've been here with me before um, I really am not a fan of the covers how they're this orange kind of color but inside is Tomo River paper and traditional Hobonichi version of that um, but the difference is it has red grid at the front and then a blue grid and then a green grid and then a purple grid so you can technically um, make four sections out of here if you wanted to anyway they're quite good they've they're chock full of paper because it's so thin you, there's heaps of pages in there and um, I tend to decorate the covers or else I put the covers inside of of a you know an A5 cover for example to hide that color because I'm just not a fan um, so yeah I, I just you know it's good to have some extras there's talk that they're going to change the paper next year I mean not that I care I don't really don't care about that I think it's going to be fine um, but uh, it can't hurt to have some extra notebooks hanging around um, because they're quite affordable and when you love the paper then it's it's good to have them right <laughs> okay so that's it for me we have our two notebooks and our Anna pouch and our um, uh, I think this is called the large draw pouch as well which is I just think they're beautiful so yeah thanks Shauna I'm now a convert to the draw pouch <laughs> alright guys that's it for me thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you do have these pouches or the similar you know maybe not these fabrics but uh, let me know what you think and what you what do you actually what do you use yours for I'd be intrigued I'm um, um, I want to just get the storage system just right so if you can tell me what you store in yours I'd be really interested to hear how you use them okay that is definitely it for me thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed let me know what you think in the comments and uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing if you want to see more content around Hobonichi and stationery lots of hauls and uh, Kiki K planning lots of planning um, yeah let me know guys and uh, I will see you all again super super soon all right thanks guys bye